Hello, my minions, and welcome to a immersive engineering tutorial. Well, specifically, immersive tech, an add-on for the mod immersive engineering. Now, today, as you can probably see around us, we're going to be do doing the Steam Engine. Now, the Steam Engine is something I've been meaning to do, considering it doesn't. There is not a lot of good tutorials on it on YouTube and how to specifically get it working properly. Uh, especially if you're doing a boiler setup, which we're not doing here because I actually don't suggest you do it because it kind of eliminates the whole point of having a steam engine in that it's sort of supposed to be a little bit renewable. But I'll show you how you're going to do it with a steam, with a solar tower, I mean. Now, a lot of people don't actually read the book on it, but the book is a little bit iffy on how all these inputs and outputs work and also how the pump works to get all this but over here i'll i'll go through this is the the way you can set it up now first of all you need to make a distillery now if we go into immersive tech distillery distiller i mean so you see over here this is how it works how you put it together and you need uh seven steel scaffolding three fluid pipe one redstone engineering block two light engineering blocks and 10 iron sheet metal so it's a pretty cheap thing in terms of the immersive engineering and by the way this is all sort of a late game thing i suggest you have another power source in this like maybe a uh if you have a diesel gen set up with a bio um with a biofuel um set up with like um with garden closures well you can just create a boiler pump uh, biofuel into it, biodiesel, I mean, biodiesel into the boiler, and then, uh, and the bo boiler, I'll show you, and so you put the, no, that's the steam turbine, uh, so pump it into the boiler, boiler is a bit more expensive, but nothing f when you have a lot of late game, I also have a lot of en heavy engineering blocks, but the steam turbine excel itself is really expensive, have a look at here free steel scaffolding uh six fluid pipe one redstone engineering block 24 heavy engineering blocks four radiator blocks 27 sheet metal steel sheet metal and 10 blocks of steel so it is a fucking lot of resources um but it's well worth the investment if you're doing this on a server or and even in your single player world but over here so how this all works, we'll start off with this with the distillery. So I got this working to how we have pumped from a water source. It can be any water source, but you need a pump. And the pump is a bloody bugger to set up. And it does not tell you how to really properly set this up in, in the book. It is quite annoying to set up, and um it is just it's a pain in the ass. So I'll I'll just quickly show you how, how to do it. So you need your engineer's hammer. And on this side, you need to click on it, right? Uh, you need to right click on it, so it has the blue dot above it. So that's the input. So it's inputting water. And then behind it, or wherever, click on it twice, or right click it twice to get the outputs. And that will make it so you can put your water pipes out, and so on and so forth. It goes into the system, and so forth. But then you also need power to it. Uh, you can use any power source. Um, HV surprisingly works; it doesn't blow it up. Um, uh, I I'll, don't won't connect it up. But then the, the, this is the bugger of the thing. This is what gets everybody. You need to place a lever on a block next to um, the main source block of or the main block of the pump and turn it on. Because then, uh, if you don't do that, it won't work at all. It will be, it won't just pump. And you'll be wondering, how the hell do you work this? So now we go on to the distiller. Now the distiller is to make purified water, or distilled water, sorry. And distilled water produces more steam than normal water. And in a solar tower, I'll just quickly turn it today. And with the solar tower, when I get to it, this all comes into play. Same with the boiler. You can use either water or distilled water. But I suggest you, because of how cheap the distiller is, just get the fucking distiller. It will help you out in the long run. Anyway, so you got you put input your water into here through this input right here. 
See, it has the blue dot in it. I'm not going to go over all the immersive engineering basics. If you guys want me to do a whole series about immersive engineering, comment down below and I'll do that. Uh, we can make a whole series about it. But this is specifically about the steam turbine. So I'm saying, I'm assuming that the people who are watching this knows a bit about how to do immersive engineering. And this is just specifically about the steam turbine and how to make a really efficient setup. Now, of course, you can probably in in your basin anyway. So you can put the water into here, and this needs power as well, but not actually a lot of power. You could probably just get away with using a uh, a windmill, probably, or a um the uh the the nuclear re not the nuclear reactor, the uh, thermoelectric generator. That's it. Yes. So you could probably get away with just putting it in the thermoelectric generator. And now I'll just make it so it, this system gets powered by a, a separate system, which um, is actually a bit more... It's better because you have redundancies. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, you have redundancies and you can do this stuff without it affecting your main power grid. Now... So after that, it distills the water, and it has two outputs. One at the back here. It, so let's say you place it down this way. Um, let's get the book out. Uh, actually, I have a lot of these projectors. So this, so the projector. Uh, let me quickly there. So you see here, it's three by three blocks. Place it down. It goes down. So you'd be facing it this way. Now I'll get rid of this. Just give me a sec. Oh. Oh, and in creative mode, I can just place it down. <laughs> That's something I didn't realize you could do. Anyway, um, but yeah, so you got all of the blocks here, and then you click on the middle block. Boom. Done. That's good. This is actually makes it a lot easier. So, all right, you put your pipes, and you put them into input their water. Out here, you put a chest, and the chest is for salt, because... The, the act of distilling, distilling water produces salt. And it, it's not much salt produced, but if you're doing it over a long period of time, it really doesn't matter. It's just all right. But anyway, but then the outputted distilled water then goes into this orange output here. And you get you pump that along to either your boiler or this. Now, this is something... The solar tower... Is a bit of a uh, finicky thing to go around, but and it's also quite a quite a bit expensive. Uh, I'll show you how to build it. Um, let's go solitaire projector. Now, now go. Let's go around here. Now, the thing about the solar tower is that it is quite quite a bit expensive. It's not as expensive as a steam turbine. Um, or the boiler. The boiler is the cheaper version, but the steam, but the um, solar tower is the one that actually will produce all this passively. You don't need a secondary. You don't need to make biodiesel, which is the sort of the whole point of getting a steam turbine. Is that so you don't actually have to do like anything to produce your power? So let's go solar tower and let's see what it costs. It's Fourteen steel scaffolding, scaffolding, yeah. four fluid pipe. One redstone engineering, five heavy engineering blocks, um, 20 steel fence, and 16 steel sheet metal. So a lot of this stuff costs a lot of steel. So let's say this whole setup, probably you, you'd be wanting to have quite a bit of steel at this point. And like I said before, this is for probably late game to mid to late game um, stuff. Um, but yeah, so go through all that. There's... You go up and up and up and then let's just do it boom now you can probably you can have a look now what it looks like bada boom bada bing let's click on it i believe i can't remember which block it is <laughs> uh but there the redstone block boom now this this structure i'd just place it anywhere. You can have multiple of these running at the same time to produce more steam, which is what I suggest. I would suggest you get two. But for it to work, you need these other things, which is called the solar reflectors. And the solar reflectors require blocks of silver, which is not hard to get. They're pretty damn cheap. Uh, let me go. It would be in the next page. Uh, and then there's a bit of S um, shows here. Seven, uh, 750 mega, um, uh, miller buckets of steam is produced by stilled water and 500 from just normal water 
see what I mean from before. It's just, it's just worth making the distiller. Um, but here we have it. We need some treated wood, fence, steel scaffolding, and two line engineering blocks. So they're pretty, pretty cheap. But to do this effectively, you need four. Now, they have to be placed without any blocks in between them. So no blocks in between here um, and the center bit. And they have to be pretty lined up pretty damn correctly. And when you build them, I'll, I'll just quickly get the, uh, the projector. It's a little reflector. Uh, here. And um, they don't really, it doesn't really matter which, um, uh, how far you put it, but you have to have it within a 10 block radius. And boom. Right. Eh. Work. See? Um, and then you click the middle of the silver block. You can have it within 5 to 10 blocks. Anything uh, out of it doesn't do anything. But over here, I show you, there isn't, it doesn't produce more, like it doesn't heat up or it doesn't produce more steam depending on where you place it. It's just a rudimentary value. And like, it also means like it, it doesn't matter if it's closer that it produces more steam and so on and so forth. But you need four of these to make it produce effectively. Otherwise, it just won't, it will run out of steam to go into here. It will just not be producing enough steam. Uh, I'll show you the, the uh, interface there. So if you look here, these are four signs here. And each of these, they won't have anything in it. About, by the way, this also won't work during the day. Now, uh, you, you go here. Actually, I'll show you where you pump the... So if you place it down here, let's say, and we put the water, let's, then we've got pipe. So it's the same sort of thing. You input the water in the, in the, two, one of the two uh, inputs. Now I'm, I don't know, one of them is for water specifically, one of them is for distilled water. Um, as far as I know, I think it is this side, which is the distilled water. Now, and then it is an orange output in the middle that goes in directly into the steam turbine that goes into the alternator. Now the alternator is a separate thing, but I won't get into that just yet. But yeah, so in the HUD, actually I'll show it here. In the HUD, you see, so there's four things. And in the HUD, when there is a solar reflector going through it, that means that there is sunlight coming through and it's heating up whatever in here. And I'll show you by putting an orange sun symbol in the middle. Now, if I had water pumping in through it, then it would actually be starting to produce that into steam. Now, I can have 32,000 millibuckets of steam in here and in each side. Uh, and then water, you can do the buckets, the normal shebang with uh, immersive engineering. But just one of these solar reflectors doesn't do much. So I'd be budgeting for four. And if you're really sort of late game and you want this to be sort of to power a lot of things, or if you want to do multiple steam turbines, which unless you're doing like a lot of um, big, big, oh geez, um, uh, big mod packs, you don't really need a lot of these st steam turbines. So yeah, now if we go here, so for each side you need an, a solar reflector. And the solar reflector then it will make the steam and so you've got the steam produced here and then the steam will go into the turbine now the turbine is sort of a little bit finicky to set up in the sense of getting this alternator correct when you actually place down the steam turbine let me find it steam turbine there's a section at the back where it doesn't have any because the alternator is not part of it it's a separate thing so let's go here and you see there's a lot of steel. It's uh, You need multiple stacks of, of steel to do this properly. See? Now, then... So that's... So this is the front. So... So back here is where you put the alternator. Now let me get the one for the alternator. And uh, you need to make it so the... Iron, the steel block in the middle is in the same position as this one. So... Boom, boom. See, they need to have this connection. Now we should play. 
Nope. Don't pr do that. That's a different one from a different mod. Different add-on, sorry. Uh, you need to probably click this this one. The, the middle one there. So you got the steam turbine. Now, if you should press the one here, boom. So yeah, that's the steam turbine. And that should work fine for you guys. And yeah, you won't have any trouble if you do it like that. Make sure that the iron block in the middle, uh, not the iron block, the steel block is connected to the other steel block inside here. Because if you built it, you know that there's a steel block right in the center where this where it connects. That's sort of your um you know, the steam turbine. And I'll show you briefly show you what you can do with these steam turbines. So you see you have all these HV capacitors. Now I'll show you how quickly you can fill out HV capacitor, which is four uh, four mega IF, which is a lot of electricity. Because there's a the problem with the solar tower is that it doesn't work during the day. During the night, I mean, sorry. And that's that's because it's a solar thing. It's with the sun, of course. In real life with these things with solar panels, you have them go into an array of batteries or capacitors. A battery is just a capacitor, really, or a big capacitor. Now, in immersive engineering, we have the capacitors ourselves, and so we can make it we can store a lot of electricity. Though it's not the most efficient way to do it, and since in Minecraft you can just skip night altogether with a bed, which is what I suggest you do, but if you really need to do stuff at night, or you're in a, or um, or if you if you're doing one where you can't sleep, or you're on a big server and you can't don't have like those things, you where you can get the whole server to sleep, well then this will work. But I do suggest if you're doing that, that you have another backup generator, maybe a couple of um, uh, thermoelectric generators, and then you don't do your big stuff during those times. But anyway, see, we've almost filled up one of them already, and it's doing it a ridiculous amount, because I'll show you. So in each of these connectors, there's six of them, but each of them powers the same amount as one diesel generator. So one steam turbine is essentially six diesel generators, which is ridiculous. But the thing, there's a sort of, it's a complicated mathematical thing, which I don't really know the maths to it, but it's, it times for the amount of machines in the loop. So basically, it, for how many stuff is being powered, the steam turbine will produce more power. So let's say you have an, a couple excavators going. It will produce more IF to power those uh, excavators and keep them full. And let's say you then put an arc furnace on it. Well, then it will then produce more electricity. So it is a very good system because it just, it just works and it keeps going. Now, I don't actually see a reason in a lot of cases for people to use multiple unless you multiple steam turbines which you can and then I'd say suggest you use multiple uh, solar towers or you get a boiler and then you have to get this whole setup with garden cloches to make biodiesel which is a, like trust me I did that on a survival server if you guys know on the uh, HP official server um, it's such a pain to set up and if you don't know how to do it properly, which um, which Immersive engineering can be quite complicated. Then it's an absolute pain but Anyway, I digress, but that's just a quick show of how effective the steam turbine can be Now I think that's enough for me today. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial it's um, if you want to see more tutorials on mods, on immersive engineering specifically, which is one I know about, drop a, drop a comment down below. Tell me, tell me what if what machines you might want to see me talk about, and um, and so on and so forth. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.